Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of This Is Our Life. Um, I'm mad. So, I actually have kudos to go out to a couple of people from last night. Aside from the doctors and nurses, this, this is not them. Believe it or not, I have something good to say about the keen activist. Well, about two of them. <laughs> now, last night, while we were at hospital, there were two of them in the emergency room. We were in the emergency room. As I was walking out, I forget, oh, I was going to make sure the car was locked up. And around that time, one of the activists, I don't remember his name, I don't remember the other guy's name, but I recognize them. At least they used to be activists. Maybe they're not activists anymore. Maybe they got smart. Yeah. Um, as I was walking to the car, he was behind me, and he said, you know, I, I really like how you treat your wife and how you're there for her, and I hope one day I can be in a relationship like that. And thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for not being mean or rude. Thank you for not making up some sort of lie. What was it? The guy with the tattoos on him? Uh, I think it was the guy he was with. Um, Chicken Caesar wrap. Uh -huh. But, but um, you know, thank you. Uh, I mean, it, look, if more of you would behave in that fashion. Like you should. Yeah, you would get more support from people. I support activists. Just... None of them around here that I know of. Now, I don't know of anybody right around here that I can support. There are people in Match. There are people in Concord. There are people, I don't know about Lebanon. But there are people throughout the state that I support, that I respect. But they don't act like horses patoots. Okay? And I'm sorry, but when you bully people, I have no respect for you. When you scream and cuss and when you scream and cuss at elderly crossing guards, oh come on. So I want to say to those two guys last night, thank you very much. I deeply appreciate that. Um, you can teach the others some good lessons. How to act very like good. Human exactly. How to no. act like civilized human beings. So I just wanted to say that I thought I think it's important that when people do the right thing, that they get recognized for it. Um, so I, I wanted to say I remember once I was wearing my uh, cop block hoodie. It was a long time ago, but I was wearing my cop block hoodie, and we were in city center in King and a uh, city center uh, downtown uh, on the Common. And something was going on over there at the at the gazebo. And I noticed this one cop, he walked over there. And he wasn't harassing you. He said, is everything okay? I, he, I guess he thought something was going on. Yeah, he said, is everything okay? And people said, oh, yeah, we're fine. And he said, oh, okay. And he walked off. And I saw him a little later on walking down Main Street, and I nodded my head to him. I was I acknowledged him because why? Because he did a good thing. He did what was proper. And I think it's important to recognize this type of activism, this type of behavior, this type of activity. Because look, if you have cops, this is, well, let's deal with the cops for a moment. If you have cops and they're doing bad, acknowledge that it's bad. Don't don't. You know, don't, don't give in to it. But when you have a cop that does something right, you need to acknowledge that. Don't just attack somebody because they're a cop. Because I, I got a bunch of, at that time, I got a bunch of negative comments toward me because I acknowledged that cop, you know, acknowledging that he had done right. I'm like, look, he does right. That's how you make allies. That's how you make supporters. That's how you, you make new members. Now, one of the problems in Keene is you have the narcissist Ian who runs things, even though a lot of you don't seem to realize that he's getting you to do stuff, but he is. And I guess I just need to stop talking about him, stop feeding the dragon. But, um, you know, you two guys, 
Again, I don't recall your names. I recognized you, though. You did good. I appreciate that. If my wife would have been out there with me, she would have heard you, and she would have, you know, been appreciative of it as well. So, th so thank you very much.